it. So now take a look here. You got to come up close because if you don't see this, you won't believe it. And now I'm going to adjust the power here. It's going to be 22%. It's going to be a speed of 1,000 on this laser. This is a 50 watt laser, so I put it at a low percent. If it's a high percent, if I want to do like a piece of wood here, so something like this might be near 99%, but one third of the speed of this shirt. This shirt is you know, a tiny percentage. This is full percentage. This is extremely fast and low power. This is high power and extremely slow. And see how deep I can get in there? Okay, so that's dependent if I do it one, two, or three times. So, um, when I set that up, I don't have to hoop the shirt because what I do is I use the guidance here. Can you just take a peek? Can you see that? Can you like yeah, don't worry, about, don't worry about him. Just, you, can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Can you come in and see that because you haven't seen this? Oh, yes. Okay, now Alex, get the faces of what happens because we've always seen what happens here. So, I want you to watch there. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Can you get in there? Can you come over here for one sec? Do you see the center of that shirt? Mm -hmm. Ready? That's 350. You think that you can embroider something this big? How many stitches would that be? Okay, it's not hot. And on the back side of the shirt, there's no evidence of anything. Okay, so now, and I can put that across the seam, I can put that across the um, placket, right? I can put that on the collars, I can put it on the yoke. I can do a full back. What happens when you embroider dry wicking stuff? It tends to pucker. So now I give people an alternative. I can do soft shell, I can do all the dry wicking stuff, I can do all, you know, I can go crazy if I want to do a sponsorship, but generally I can do nice stuff. So next time somebody says, can you give me a break on that? I say, I can do something better. Then shut up for one second, breathe, and then offer them the website wherever you didn't put the logo. But do it as an afterthought so that you can upsell them. Okay, so the idea of the laser is that it's unique and different and that you're offering something to people that they haven't seen before. But the problem is, when I started, I need to get you guys to change some habits you have because you're so used to the mentality, not you personally, but the mentality of the industry is, I'm going to give him a good price because then maybe he's going to give me more work. It never happens. All they do is shop you and the 50 other people. We have a laser sold in Pittsburgh. In one mile, there's five other embroidery people within one mile should be a song for that. It's too many embroiders, got to get rid of them. But the problem is that they don't want to make a change. Okay, so if I need to change the design, change the art, I'll go in, I'll hit Mona Lisa here, go to desktop. Um, can you pick a letter of the alphabet for me? M. Pick M. Attention, attention. And pick open. Congratulations to San Marcano, um, winner of Best you wanna, Design. You want to pick one of those? Again, San Marcano. Seven inch, click open. Best booth design. Can you pick uh, a muscle there? Put it at 20%. Check mark. Okay, we'll leave it at 1,000. Press that. Okay, can you now take a shirt and line this up for me somehow? I don't care where you put it. Um, keep the shirt folded so the bulk... Yeah, take off your purse so it doesn't slide that thing for you. I just want to get to the credit card, that's all. Okay, we're going to keep it colder and we're going to do the bottom. So, because of the weight of the shirt, because we're doing it at the bottom, can we just flip it around? Or you know what, I'll show you another trick. Just fold this shirt in half and lay it on. Would you ever do anything like that in embroidery? <laughs> Never. Okay. Just make it a little bit flat. Is the red, see the red light there? Can you slide it down a bit? See there? In there is that even? Yeah. Okay. So now what you want? Okay. So now come on over here. Press that one, and then press the green one. So this one's a bigger, but you would never be able to afford to embroider, and you certainly wouldn't be done embroidering that in 15 minutes. But we're going to do it in a matter of you know under 60 seconds for sure. Okay. So do me a favor, don't put your hand in there. I took off this just so that you can, everybody can see through, but normally that's covered right down, and then the vent, the smoke is vented out the side there, okay?
but how you, how you make the files? You make the <laughs> files with our program called LaserWorks. So most people are familiar with Corel and Adobe and embroidery software. The problem with embroidery software... Congratulations as well to RV Digital for winning Best Sales Environment. Congratulations to the team at RV Digital. Um, embroidery software has been doing things a certain way for many years, but they don't have a way to quickly digitize in one button. So I want to vectorize in one button. Thanks, guys. I want to vectorize in one button so I have the lines. And then with our software, with one button, you click inline outline. If you click the inline, you open that file up, that AI file that we just saved in your embroidery software, and you pick running stitch. So you running stitch that and then we cut on the outside and that's how we do the applique. If we just do the laser, we do a fill and the whole thing's filled up and that's what it is. So the whole thing's done here. So uh, if I prepare the AI file, then I can convert it to with the software, right? Yeah, if you have a ton of AI files, just open them up and just send it out. It will just do the conversion for the laser. Okay. But if you have to make files, stop using that program, use ours, it's going to be way quicker for you, way easier. It's much more simplified, the nodes are easy to use, and there isn't 829 buttons that you don't know how to use. There's a suit called LaserWorks. It doesn't digitize, it creates the clean artwork before you digitize. So that all you do is you have clean vectors. When you have clean vectors, it's easy to digitize, right? And the difference between that and Corel Draw is? Is it probably 800 buttons less to choose from and simplified in the way of taking lousy artwork because you're going to get stuff from a business card, from a website, from a, a scan and say, can you make this for me from a sketch? And now I need to convert that over. So as soon as we're done this, if you want a quick demo from Alex, you've been lasering with us laser for how many years? Yeah, no. How many hours? <laughs> how many minutes? How many seconds? I'll get, yeah, I'll no, but it's get, easy, right? Yeah, it seems it appears to be. I mean, did you remember reading any language? It's all picture based, yeah. right? So that makes it so easy, and and any type, any level of user, from engineer right down to, you know, whatever is in the shop, they can learn how to use it. Did I answer your question about heat? Yes. Yes. Okay. You're actually burning a little bit off that shirt on the top layer, melting it together. Yeah. Now, can I grab this fleece? Yes. Um, I'm looking for this one here. So here, I'm shaving it. So I'm taking off the the fuzz. Oh, well, you're actually shaving? Yeah. You want me to do one? This is very cool, right? Look at that. How would you ever embroider in that spot? Print or line it up? I, and you know how quick it was to line up. You've never done that before, right? So let me switch logos. Can you close that, exit that door? Can you pick Mona Lisa? Can you pick uh, desk, the pub, not, not public up there? Just touch it, yeah. With your, yeah. Pick a different letter, pick uh, anything else. Pick open. Pick uh, Google 3.5. Click open. We can leave the same settings now because those settings will work. Do you see any... Uh, can you press that button one time? Wait, what is the uh, percentage of your... That's top secret. If I tell you, you know what happens, right? <laughs> Put that in there, line that up. Okay, and now press that button once. Can he do some work here, or is it only you? What is, it? What is this, union? Okay, sorry. Now press that one. Okay. Right there. See it? Done. That's it. Two seconds. Well, it was more than two seconds, but it's quick, right? That's worth 350. Okay, so if you want more information, just... Uh, Give me your name, and I'll give you a brochure and stuff, and I'll send you emails. Here's a list of all the things you can do. I've seen it online. Have you? Yeah, well, on YouTube, you know, I've watched this latest connection. Ah, do you, was he got this in Deutsch sagen yet? Yeah. In Biden? Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know it was this big. <laughs> well, look at how tall you are, and look how tall I am. <laughs> it's much smaller for me than it is for you, right? <laughs> In Hawaii, mm -hmm. I had, uh, we had measured, we had everything, but when we got there, 
we didn't, the wheels were a bit high, so we cut a little hole in the drywall and it fit in perfectly. There's a video from Hawaii recently. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know that we, we custom built a laser. We have two mechanical engineers, two electrical engineers, two tool and die makers on site, software programmers and all the support staff for that. So it's 100% made in Canada. It's probably 85% U.S. content on parts because that's the better stuff that I could find. The stuff from overseas is not as necessarily good as what we can find here. And then um, if you have a height issue, we can modify this. So I have uh, somebody in Switzerland whose ceiling was only 185 centimeters. So we modified the laser so you sit in front of it. And then it folds. It comes in three pieces, one, two, three. It's working in 90 minutes. 90 minutes. You have to provide the five inch hole to vent out. And there's everything included, the PC, the touchscreen, the software, uh, two days training. That's all. I've been doing it. Like not on t shirt like on, on any other kind of metal yeah. and all that? Yeah, there's a whole list right behind me there. So yes, but when you do metal, you have to coat the metal. It's a CO2 laser. I don't cut metal. So there it says whether I can cut it or I can etch it. But absolutely. Now, I want to be really crystal clear. I didn't make this laser to do what the $6,000 made in China laser does. Because then let everybody else in the world go do little uh, uh, keychains and carabiner hooks and all that stuff. I don't want to do that. I don't want you to be a commodity. You have to do what 95% of the embroidery people can't do. Then you can stand out. Then you can shine. But the problem is I've got to change some of your habits along the way so that you know how to market it. Because probably you haven't done any mailings, you haven't done any postcards. You don't contact your customer database. You know, you're nodding. That's bad news. Well, I'm new. I am just a new business. So. <laughs> it's more important for you. You just started, but that's most important for you because how are you going to compete with somebody who's got their machines paid, whose buildings paid, who's been doing it for 25 years, and they don't have a reputation? So you need to get known. Now, are you going to go compete with everybody else in a world that they'll eat you alive? Or would you think of maybe doing something that's completely different? So we have customers and examples and referrals who don't have one single needle of embroidery, but they do way better on a daily basis profit-wise than any embroidery shop in town. And they're in a small city of 40,000. So the next thing is, you know, how do you price this stuff? How much does it cost? What, what, so we created here samples of everything literature-wise for what you need to demonstrate to your customer, the tools you need to put up on your website, the samples you need to be able to generate files because where are you going to get it all at the beginning, and then the price list, terms and conditions, minimums, all that stuff that you need, we set that up because most people don't have it. I'll give you a quick example. This is so important. You're obviously European German. Have you eaten in McDonald's in Europe ever? Yeah. Have you eaten in any other country McDonald's besides Canada and USA? But you've eaten at least three different countries. Yeah, it's all different. It's all, it's all different. No, I, I was gonna. Now you're gonna ruin my whole thing. It's gonna be the same, right? Yeah. So I was gonna say, theoretically, in every place you go, the French fries taste the same. Okay. And whether you have a 15-year-old pimple-faced kid with a first job or a 75-year-old guy from Bernie Madoff loss. They have to make it. They're not allowed to make their own recipe, correct? Yeah. So the key is, why don't you McDonaldize a component of your business? Why don't you have some certain rules that are set out? And it says, you know what, Jack, sorry, like I can't, because that's the company policy. The company policy could be your wife, your business partner, it could be the sheet of paper. It's, you have to stick to those rules. If you start saying yes, then all of a sudden you're going to be catering to all those little people all over the bottom who don't give you any revenue. And you need to get top 20 guys that represent all your business. Okay? You want your tattoo now? Actually, that's where I'm coming from. <laughs> I'm set up over there, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. So that's what I wanted to share with you, okay? Any questions? Uh, not at, well, actually, I was more interested in Brian's store. Let Alex...